Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and do an update on the whole Khalif Broader situation. As you guys know, I've been one of the few YouTubers who've been covering this entire situation concerning Khalif from the time it first jumped off. Um, so what happened is that about a week ago, I had posted on my Instagram page that Khalif Browder's mother, Vanita Browder, she was meeting with Jay-Z. Jay-Z was deciding to produce a six-part docuseries on Khalif Browder's life. And so Jay-Z was talking about this. You know, I was really happy I had posted this. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video, check out what Jay-Z had to say. Check this out, I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Uh, the life and the, the next iteration of, and the lives saved and how how this young man has moved culture forward um, is incredible. And uh, I think you should be incredibly, and you are incredibly proud of your son and what he's accomplished. And I know it's difficult for you and the family to not have him, to not be able to speak to him, but he's here, he's here today. He's here today and he's, he's done more in, 19 years than a lot of us would do in a lifetime. So um, on that note, I, I would like to thank you for bringing us um, Khalif's energy into this world. And I would like to introduce this beautiful mother so she can speak. And I want to thank all the people involved with us telling this very important story. All right, so you guys just saw that video. This entire situation just breaks my heart. You know, first it broke my heart when I found out that a 16-year-old child ended up going to Rikers and sitting in Rikers for not one, but three years over a backpack that he did not steal. You know what I'm saying? That boy went through hell in Rikers Island. He was sent to solitary confinement. You know, he attempted suicide. He went through a lot of things. And even after he got out, you know, he did like, you know, these press splits and he got really cool with Rosie O'Donnell and a lot of other people. You know, Jay-Z looked out for him and things like that. But you could tell in his eyes that Khalif was not happy, that he was going through a lot. And 16 months ago, less than two years after he was released from Rikers Island, Khalif Browder took his own life. He ended up hanging himself on the side of his house using the air conditioning cord. And his mother was the one who found him. You know, he was going through a lot of pain, even though they tried to get him counseling and he was trying to go back to school. It was just too much for his poor soul to handle. And now it's been announced as of two days ago, Vanita Browder has also died. I had posted this the day that it broke. It hadn't even been out 45 minutes and I was just in shock. Um, JT of VH1 Access sent me the news clip as soon as he found out. And my heart just broke for this woman. And it was announced that she died and supposedly she died of a broken heart. Leaf Browder's story has been a powerful force and some say was the driving force in successfully removing solitary confinement for 16 to 21 year, old, 21 year olds at Rikers Island. An announcement that came just last week. Vanita Browder was a woman who tirelessly fought for criminal justice reform despite a system that failed her and her son. She literally died of a broken heart. Paul Prestia has been with and representing the Browders since the beginning, when the then 16-year-old Khalif Browder was arrested for stealing a backpack and locked up in Rikers. His family could not pay the $3,000 bail. For three years, his trial was postponed. Browder spent 800 days in solitary confinement, often thrown into violent fights with correction officers and other inmates until the case was dismissed in 2013 for lack of evidence. I was missing at school. I wanted to be out there working. I wanted to be around my family and friends. That was Browder on the PIX11 Morning News talking about the struggle to return to a normal life after Rikers. So difficult, he took his own life at his Bronx home in 2015 while his mother, Vanita, was inside. She discussed it at the America Justice Summit. It was too many memories of what he went through. And no matter how I tried, I just couldn't get through. I'm sorry. Vanita vowed to fight for criminal justice reform, despite never getting an apology from the city. The city won't acknowledge it. Rikers, NYPD, the judicial system. Just last week, a victory as she witnessed solitary confinement come to an end at Rikers for 16 to 21 year olds, despite opposition from union leaders. And earlier this month, she sat next to hip hop mogul Jay Z. I think you should be incredibly, and you are incredibly proud of your son. Who is now producing a six part docuseries based on Khalif's struggle within the system. I look at Khalif. 
Sprouta as a modern day prophet. A series which will now include the loss of Vanita. She had that strain also of these lawsuits that were pending. Now, we did reach out to the city law department about those lawsuits and why they were not settled. They would only say it's an ongoing process. However, Melissa Mark Viverito, the city council speaker, an advocate for shutting Rikers down, put out a remarkable statement saying, Vanita Brower, when you were here with her, it was impossible not to feel hopeful about a better future. The docuseries, by the way, is out in 2017. I'm Dan Manarino. Picks this was a mother who lost a big part of her son's teenage years, who didn't get to watch her son grow up and finish high school. She didn't get to see him go to his first prom. She didn't get to spend that mother and son time with him. And then on top of that, having to rebuild that relationship and watching all the suffering that her son went through, I can definitely see why she died from a broken heart. You know, the whole situation to me is just really, really sad. This is just a really tragic story that not only one life was affected by the state of New York, by Rikers Island, but now his mother as well. You know, she was so happy for this docuseries to be filmed, to talk about her son's life. She was in big support of this. And to find out that she passed, just, it broke my heart. You know, this is just a really, really sad story. You know, the whole situation is just really unfortunate. If you guys don't know about the Khalif Rauder story, if you guys have not heard of him, I will post the links down below to my older videos. You guys can also do research. But this is a really important story that needs to get out there. And I'm glad that Jay-Z is producing this docuseries. I think people need to know his story. Don't let his death just, you know, die out. Don't let his death be in vain. Because if this could happen to him, this could happen to any of us. It could happen to any of our kids. You know, so the whole situation is just really, really heart-wrenching. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire sad situation. How do you guys feel about this entire situation? Now that his mother, Vanita Browder, has passed away. And then how do you guys feel about the docuseries? Will you guys be supporting it? Will you guys be watching it? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.